Hi everyone, welcome to the Technical Analysis channel where we analyze the markets and provide actionable insights. In this video, we'll be analyzing the charts of S&P 500, the Dow and the Nasdaq to find out which one is the stronger one from a technical perspective. So let's jump into it. Here's the monthly chart of S&P 500 going back all the way to the drop, the big crash that happened in 2009. And here we have uh, formed a nice uh, trend channel in blue. Here you can see the price has been moving up quite nicely within this uh, trend channel until recently which ha it has uh, broken through uh, to the upside. And then the big correction came. The second point I'd like to highlight is that uh, there's this uh, support and resistance from the previous highs of uh, 2016 to 2017 and as well as the overhead resistance here. Here we see that the price has actually broken through the lower trend channel and uh, was supported quite nicely by this uh, previous uh, support zone and the price has now uh, moved back into the trend channel again. So let's take a look at here you can see the blue trend channel where price has been uh, encapsulated until the recent uh, high breaking through to the upside. It has also formed the support resistance from the same 2016-2017 uh, period as well as the overhead resistance formed uh, recently uh, towards the end of uh, 2019. Here too you can see the price has broken through the lower trend channel. It bounced off the support resistance uh, line here and has uh, recaptured the uh, trend channel and the price is now closed within this trend channel. However, there's a clear difference between S&P 500 and uh, the Dow. Going back to the S&P 500, here you can see that the price is almost reaching the previous uh, overhead resistance. Whereas in the case of the Dow, the gap is still quite big. Next, we have the chart for NASDAQ. Here too, the similar setup, you have the trend line going back to 2009 the recent uh, breakthrough to the upside, the support and resistance uh, formed in 2016 and 2017 and as well as the overhead resistance here from the previous uh, highs and the previous uh, peaks. However, there's a clear difference in the price action. First of all, the price did not break the trend channel unlike what happened in S&P 500 and uh, the Dow. The price didn't even come anywhere near the support resistance uh, line here. Uh, the other action is that the price actually closed above this overhead resistance. Clearly, the NASDAQ is looking much more stronger than uh, S&P 500 and the Dow, with the Dow looking the weakest because the gap to the resistance line here is still quite big. Here's the hourly chart of S&P 500. Here there are a few points to highlight. First of all, these two move up. Okay, So here we have the first wave up followed by a correction, second wave up. The first wave up was as a steeper angle compared to the following wave two. This is an indication of a waning strength and it's also confirmed by the MACD here. The other point to highlight is that uh, the price has now broken through this uh, trend channel and has moved lower with a gap down while the price has moved higher to recapture this but it did not manage to penetrate back into the trend channel. This is typical of how a breakout strategy works. So it breaks the trend channel, moves uh, in a retracement, a weak retracement and high chance that if this uh, price does not hold, high chance for it to drop further down. Here you can see a similar setup in Dow. However, there's a clear difference again. Dow ha is even more weaker. It has dropped even further from the bottom trend channel and uh, Seems like uh, the price is uh, getting weaker and MACD is also confirmed going uh, weaker still. Here we have the hourly chart for the NASDAQ. Here the picture is completely different from what you have seen for S&P 500 and the Dow. Here the price has not firstly broken through this uh, trend channel. Secondly, the price is well supported by the previous uh, support resistance line over here. And as well as the steepness of this wave 1 and wave 2 are comparable. So I would say that the NASDAQ is still looking quite strong on the hourly chart as well. Based on this analysis of support and resistance as well as a trend channel, I would say that NASDAQ is a clear winner. It is looking the strongest among them all with the Dow being very weak, showing a lot of weakness. I am not sure if this is going to be the trend going forward. 
with the tech stocks leading the market into the recovery. I also did another video comparing Disney and Netflix to identify which one is the better buy in this correction. You can check out that video in the description box below. I hope that this video has benefited you. Do subscribe and hit the like button and do let me know what do you think in the comment section below. See you soon.